Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Tatum and I just went through Starbucks to get a coffee. I got a new drink. I follow the My or the Macro Barista on Instagram, um, and I ordered the. It's called the Butter Beer Coffee. Um, it's one pump toffee nut syrup, one pump caramel syrup, and then you ask for light cream and a packet of Splenda in it. And it's actually pretty good. It's not as sweet as I'm used to, but it's definitely doable. It's only 80 calories. Um, I'll tag the account that I follow. Um, he shares a ton of really good drink recipes that are a little bit healthier. Um, if you're counting macros, I am definitely not counting macros, but I was just scrolling through his feed and that drink looked really good. And so I tried it the other day and it was actually pretty good. So I ordered it again. I got the egg bites the bacon egg bites I always get those and then I also got the oatmeal Tatum's in the back sleeping which is a miracle she hasn't been sleeping in the car for the past like couple weeks um, we're about to head by the house I have to grab Tatum's nursery light that I ordered from restoration hardware I showed you guys in a previous vlog it's that wicker one it's so cute but I did not this is a TT moment for sure I did not read the description when I was ordering and you can't hardwire it into the ceiling so you can only plug it in so the wire would show and it's not gonna work so I gotta go pick that up and I can't even return it it was I think it was on sale so it was final sale so I have to order her a new light for her bedroom and then there's another light that I have to pick up oh the entry light so the entry light that we initially installed into the entryway um, is way too dainty for that space I need a light that's a lot more bold and just like a hardier light so I need to grab um, the light that I had delivered there. Adam's gonna install it. It's um, It has a ton of crystals on it and um, our builder's electrician didn't feel comfortable putting it together because it's, it has a lot of pieces and he just didn't wanna break anything. So that was, um, I dropped it off at the house thinking that he was gonna install it, but Adam's gonna install it probably after we get moved in. So I just need to go pick up those two lights so that no one takes them or anything. There's so many people like in and out of our house and so, um, they just want those picked up so that they're not liable or if they get stolen or broken. So I'm going to go by the house and I'll show you guys any updates that are going on over there. We are so close to moving in. We're closing on our house on the 7th of June, we hope, like right around there. That's so far the date. So yeah, fingers crossed it happens on the 7th. So I think that's Monday, next Monday. And yeah, so I need to go by, I think either Lowe's or Home Depot and get some boxes because we got to start packing soon. Okay, so I just came by the house at night. I'm just going to insert this footage here for you guys because there's always so many people here. We're like so close to closing. So there's always a ton of people in here, so it's hard to film. So I'm just going to try and give you guys some updates on the house while no one's here. It feels so weird being here by myself. But the fireplace is done. So here's an up close shot of the fireplace. They painted the trim. So our frame TV will go in the middle of those sconces there. Um, they're doing a bunch of paint touch-ups right now. So this trim right here was painted. Um, lots of little details. Um, we were kind of nervous at first because we didn't know whether or not this was going to come with a sprayer because at first they just installed this faucet and then the sprayer was installed like two weeks later and I was like, oh my gosh, that's definitely going to be a problem not having like a sprayer in your sink. Um, but I guess it was back ordered. So this was just installed. So um, that'll definitely come in handy. <laughs> um, this is our fridge. This is going to be our fridge until probably September I don't know who knows maybe even later but yeah um, our sub-zero fridge is back ordered until September because of COVID delays so there will be eventually a sub-zero fridge right here with a panel front on it so it'll look like our cabinetry with a pole on it obviously not a knob we did mostly knobs in the house but it'll have big pulls on the front of the panel of the fridge so that'll be there eventually but not for a while okay so this is what I was talking about so our entryway this is the light we have right now I'll give you guys an up close better shot of it in just a second but we have so much 
trim work going on and the door and the tile i don't know i feel like it just needs a more grand light like this light is beautiful it's just so dainty and i didn't realize that when i ordered it so i think it definitely needs a bigger like more grand light so that's already ordered but i'm thinking this light will actually work in tatum's bedroom so we currently don't have a light in here because the wicker one that I ordered from Restoration Hardware, again, cannot be hardwired. Sorry, it's not focusing. But I think maybe that light in the entryway will work in her room. So, I don't know. I have this chandelier in her room, or her bathroom, sorry. This will be um, wallpapered eventually. <laughs> but this is her chandelier in her bathroom. So I don't know if it'll clash. Um, this is a temporary faucet. Uh, obviously this isn't, but that is. A lot of our plumbing fixtures are back ordered. These are all correct though. We're gonna have cleaners here on Monday to deep clean the entire house. Oh, so the carpet was installed. I haven't actually gotten to see it because they taped it down because they're doing um, paint touch-ups. Adam saw it. He was driving home from the gym and stopped by the house and they didn't put the tarp on it yet and he sent me a picture. Um, but you can kind of see like a gridded carpet. So anyways, carpet was installed. So we just did carpet in the kids' bedrooms. Um, his plumbing fixture is also temporary. His is on back order as well, so they just put an attempt to pass inspection. Um, but his faucet I love. I think I showed this in a previous video. Um, okay, let's move on to, okay, and then the girls' bathroom. Mirrors are coming tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, so this will have a wall-to-wall -wall mirror. Obviously, it'll stop right here by the toilet. Our ice maker was installed. This is probably what I'm most excited for about the house, if I'm being honest. It makes um, Sonic ice. They're having to toss the first couple batches because it's not good, but I'm really excited to use that. Our mini fridge is on back order. <laughs> um, what else? This is our playroom in here. They're, I think they're painting in here. But I love this light fixture. And the sconces in here. So this wall will be wallpapered. Um, there's shelves and cabinetry over here. And then TV will go there. The gym floor was installed this past week. It looks so good in here. I love the windows facing to the backyard. So. That's that. Okay, our pool bath. So our sconces were installed, but our tile work was finished this past week. I don't know if you guys saw that. So we did a subway tile all the way up the wall and then a white penny tile on the floor. Again, this will all get really nicely clean before we move in. Um, so this leads to the backyard. So when we eventually put a pool in, this will be our pool bath. I don't know if you guys follow Monica Hibbs on Instagram, but she just recently built a home. She's from the UK, I believe. Um, and her style is seriously impeccable. Like everything she does is insanely gorgeous and so well done. And she has a sink like this in her house. So that's what inspired this sink. And I think it's so cool for a pool bath. So um, a mirror will go here. It's gonna be like a black frame mirror. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use the one that I bought for Grayson's bathroom since we're just gonna do a standard like wall mirror in there. Um, but yeah, this is our pool bath. I think it turned out really, really cute and I can't wait to style it and put like, I don't know, some picture frames and stuff up on the wall. Um, our, I don't think anything changed in here. You guys saw this. Um, these will be hampers, pull out hampers. So, they're not, um, the hardware inside the hamper isn't here yet. Those are back order too, so we can't use these for a couple weeks. But they'll eventually all pull out and they'll be individual hampers. And then our washer and dryer will go here. So, 
that's that you remember to turn off all these lights i was just walking back over to the master bath to show you guys updates in there um our cabinetry on our built-ins in the living room are back ordered as well those should be here soon though but there'll be knobs on all of these cabinets i can't remember exactly what i've shown on instagram and what i vlogged but our tub was installed recently they filled it up today to make sure it worked um this chandelier there's some beads missing so when we did our final walkthrough today or i think it was our second to last walkthrough i can't remember i think we're going to do one more um they said that they're going to be fixing that so that'll get fixed uh i don't think there's any updates in there our shower um fixture was installed so we have a rain shower head um, and then our little cutout for products is over here. So, excited about this. My office pendants were installed. They look so good. I love them so much. Um, and then the hardware. I personally ordered the hardware for my office from Anthropology. And it's not gonna be here, I don't think, till August. So I won't have hardware on here, but it's gonna be worth it because it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, there won't be any hardware in here for a while, but that's okay. Okay, girls, where are we going? To get our soccer things. Our soccer cleats. We got your soccer ball, we got your soccer shorts, we got your shin guards, your socks, but I'm gonna take them to go get soccer cleats probably at Sports Academy. I just wanna make sure that they're gonna fit their feet okay. Shay just woke up from a nap. You took a nap today, huh? You feel better? Well rested? You ready to pick out soccer shoes? Yeah. Like ice, and it, and it can crack the window a little, so that's what um, made the crack. Yeah. See, these ones are right okay. That fits me. Just hard it's to big, put right? on, but they fit. They're getting big, Shay. Yeah. So that's why it fits me. Ah, you're getting bigger. Ah, uh, that's Maybe why. Maybe you might need a size 11. Honey, do you want pink or all black? Do you want pink like Shay or do you want the all black ones? Mom, um, let's get the other one. Uh, let's see, stand up and walk around. Don't walk that way. Feel good? Feel good? Yeah. Yeah? They're good? Okay. Pretty sweet. What do they do to the grass? It's so you're able to stick into the grass so you don't slide around. Want to try those ones on? How do those fit? You can run fast in them? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. These are size 12, Bailey. Your feet are growing. I thought she was a size 10. <laughs> they might run small. Come here, honey. Let me see. Stop so I can see them. Come here. I think those are gonna work because you're gonna have thick soccer socks. 
$15 so this is everything that I got for the girls for soccer. They're gonna get their jersey on their first day next week, but I got them some soccer shorts. These are just the Nike brand, and Bailey's are coming, I think, tomorrow. They're in two different sizes, so hers are shipping tomorrow. Hi, Chloe. She's been following me everywhere. Everywhere I go, she follows me. Um, it's like even worse than when I was pregnant. Anyways, I got them each some pink and black socks and then these really cute hot pink shin guards and then their hot pink soccer shoes sports academy only had black and pink shoes available and both the girls chose pink i knew shay would but i never know with bailey um but she wanted to match shay so i also got them this really cute hot pink soccer net i got two of them and i wasn't planning on opening them until we got to the new house because they're huge <laughs> they're pretty big um the ones we got last year are like half the size um, but we busted one of them open and let the girls play soccer when they got home. They love it. Once we get to the new house, we will set up both of them for them to practice soccer. They're so excited and I'm pretty sure today I'm going to find out which team they're on and I'm hoping that they're on the same team. I think that would be a lot of fun. They just started cheer yesterday. Bailey came to me and she's like, mom, I really want to do cheer. I think she saw some cheer videos on her iPad. And so the next day, or that night actually, I signed them both up for cheer and their first day was yesterday. So yeah, we're in cheer, gymnastics, dance, um, and then three summer camps over the summer. Bailey starts cheer summer camp next week. I couldn't get Shay into that, she was too young. But they're doing some camps with their school this summer. So yeah, we're gonna be really busy in the midst of the move happening next week. So I think my next vlog will be a moving vlog, I'm pretty sure, or maybe the one after that, I don't know. But I think I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.